In this presentation, I'm going to show you the material that is needed to build a Roan tower. This could be any height, but I'm going to show you what the material we purchased for a Roan 45 tower for a customer that we're going to be building a station for in the Western Catskills near Roscoe, New York. And uh, I'm going to start the list of what we need to make this happen for the customer. So you understand at the transmitter site already, we have the 80 feet of Roan 45, the Roan 45 top plate, and the guy anchors are already in the concrete. So let me start from the top. So the first thing we need after we have the Roan 45 up and we got the top plate is the thrust bearing. Here's the thrust bearing. We use the uh, DX Engineering thrust bearings. This is the TB300, and this will accommodate a two inch mast. Working our way down, the next thing we come to would be the guide brackets. So we got two Roan 45 guide brackets in here. They're gonna be guide about, uh, I don't know, 38 and 76 feet, give or take. We leave a few feet down from the top. Then after that, we need the rotor, and we're gonna be installing a Yezu 2800 rotor, and that's gonna go on the rotor plate. And here's the rotor plate. This is also from DX Engineering. Most of the material we purchase is from DX Engineering. From the Yezu 2800, of course, we need the control cable. So you get this pre-made, the Yezu rotor control assembly, 300 feet. This is gonna be more than enough to get to the customer shack. Working our way down, the next thing we're going to come up to will be our dipoles that are going to be side mounted at approximately, uh, I don't know, 75 feet and 65 feet. And I'm going to walk you over to the dipoles. I've already pre made these. These are not, I'm sure you could buy mono band dipoles from somebody, but. We, we can do it a lot cheaper and uh, with the material. So we got the Budwig center insulators. This one right here is the 160 and that one's the 80, it's already made. And what we use is the side, side arms. Um, we had a little rain here last night, that's why it's dripping. Um, we use the side arms, the, the Roan 40 for 45. And they attach to the side with the pulley and we have rope that attaches to it. So the next thing after, um, you get the side, uh, the antennas, and you got to put the Philly strand. These are going to be the top guys for the Philly strand. These are 80 feet. I already pre-made them. Saved me a lot of time by pre-assembling everything here. So these are pre-made. I already got them uh, with the insulators on there. Those are the 502s, I believe. And, uh, of course, I got the big rips on there. And what we do from here... We put a um, we put a uh, a shackle, not a shackle. Uh, uh, what is it called again? A um, yeah, it is a shackle. We put a shackle to the um, to the guy bracket uh, on the tower, and uh, and here is the antennas that are going to be going to this location. These are made out of Poland. We pre-build them here, saves us a ton of time by pre-building it. These antennas took over 10 hours to build here locally. A lot of parts, they come from Poland, they're fantastic antennas, but very complicated. This is a GXP 7 element 7 bander. It's seven bands on one boom. So you get 10, 12, 15, 17, 20 meters. That's five bands with three elements each. Then there's two elements on 30 and two elements on 40. And I will show you this in another video from the transmitter site. So please follow us into the next video uh, that will be forthcoming. And these are the vertical pipes that hold. You get the ropes. They hold to the elements. Those are for the 20 meters that have the underneath elements. This is the uh, 6 meter. And again, the name of the company is called GXP. They're out of Poland. And the way we do it is we transport everything in our trailer. So it's a Hudson Valley Tower trailer. 
I, I operate under Radio Echo Communications. This is a, uh, a business that I started in 2008, and we just specifically use this company to run our remote business. But the actual tower business is called Radio Echo Communications. So that takes care of everything at the top of the tower. So now we got to work our way down to the bottom of the tower. And uh, the next set of guys is going to be completely steel because there's going to be no stacks on this tower. So here's the quarter inch steel. Here's the big rips that go to it. Here is the thimbles. Here's the shackles I was talking about right here. And, uh, and here is more big rips. And right here is the, um, this is the turnbuckle. We have six of these. These are heavy duty. Right here is the equalizer plates. They're from Roan. Um, these attach to the guy anchors. So the, the turnbuckles attach to this and this attaches to the guy anchors. So that basically covers the top of the tower to the bottom of the tower. So now at the bottom of the tower, maybe a few feet up, we install our DX engineering switch. 8 port switch so keep in mind we're going to have six coaxes so we're going to have two open ports so let me explain so here's one two three four five six coaxes they're 100 feet long all same lengths some of them are going to be a little longer some of them are going to be a little shorter but they're all going to make it to the switch they'll all make it to the switch because keep in mind it's an 80 foot tower and the longest one is going to be 40 meters down the boom i will have more than enough to make it to the switch um like uh, the six meter might be uh, close to the 100 feet to the switch um but they're all going to be very close I've already showed you the, the rotor control cable. These two cables right here are 300 feet. There's also from DX Engineering. And uh, it's LMR 400. That's gonna go from the switch. And it's gonna go to this box, which is gonna be mounted on the house. It has a copper plate in the inside. And uh, we have our lightning arrestor, I believe somewhere. They gotta find that. I gotta find a lightning arrestor, and uh, it's gonna go to this rod with uh, with the brackets, and inside here is the copper strapping. So the only thing I gotta look for is the lightning arrestor. I don't see that unless it's in that box, unless it's already in there. So that's pretty much the material list to build a Roan 45 tower. I also have extra coax here that I'm gonna bring along. Um, this is RG213, 500 foot spool, and uh, that's how we make it work. This is the material list to get a Rome 45 tower up. Keep in mind, the tower sections are already there because we had to do the concrete uh, two weeks ago. So the concrete's done. Um, two weeks is more than enough for it to cure, for us to start working on it. And uh, we got our trailer and we got our antennas ready to go. So... That's how we make it happen. Thank you very much for watching the video. This is Ray, W2RE.